Hi guys, it's the Boeing 747 uh, simulator here. I want to show you something quickly. Some of you have asked me, how do pilots know when it's time to descend? Well, the FMS, remember, we've put the route in, just like a GPS on your vehicle. You put where you're coming from and where you're going, and it will tell you it will take you two hours or something to drive to that destination. Same in the aeroplane, we put our departure point, we put all the turn points and routes to our destination. We put them in here. This is the FMS. This is the old style FMS, but this is where we put them. We put the route in here. And then as we are approaching the destination, the FMS knows the distance left and it knows the altitude we're flying at, for example, 37,000 feet. Okay, multiply that by about three times, plus all, uh, some corrections for wind or aircraft weight. And that's about the distance you need to go to to descent to your destination. So if you look here, it says 37,000 feet. We're flying at Mach 0.843, and it says top of descent. TD means top of descent, the point at which we start descending. We're approaching it, you can see that it's counting down as we go closer. So it's 86 miles, 85 miles. So 85 miles is just on about 10 minutes cruising at Mach 0.84, just on 10 minutes to descend. So on the passenger aircraft, as this one was, the, the captain would now come up and say, I'll oh, just do a PA to the passengers. This thing here, the, the phone, type in and then press to talk on the PA. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, captain speaking. We're just uh, approaching our descent to be descending in about nine minutes. At Singapore, the temperature is so and so at Singapore because we've got all the weather and so on. Then I put that there. You put that back there and then that's what would happen. In the cabin, the cabin crew would start collecting things and making sure everything is uh, secure before we start the descent. Because at that point, the captain will finish up his uh, PA by saying, cabin crew, you have 30 minutes to landing. Okay, let's have a look at how we're doing with this. So it's now 75 miles away to descend. So I'm going to accelerate it a little bit. I'll accelerate it and uh, take it closer to the descent point so that you see what happens when you get there. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're approaching our top of descent now and uh, let's have a look what the FMS says. So according to this, it says we're 21 miles away from our descent point, TD. 20 miles now, it's counting down. And there we are approaching just past Kanla, going towards Kilot on the arrival for Singapore, runway 20 right. Okay, looking out there, it's a nice day in Singapore. Just looking up ahead there, Singapore is way out there. And uh, we'll be approaching the descent point. So, about uh, two minutes or so from descent point, the FMS comes up and sends, gives us a message. It says, FMC message. When I look at the FMC, it says, reset MCP altitude. It means we're approaching our descent point. The MCP altitude, this is the mode control panel, this whole thing. And the altitude he's talking about is here. You see that alt saying reset because you're about to go down. Reset this so the airplane starts to descend. So we get onto the radio and talk to ATC. Singapore Radar Cathay 734 request descent. Cathay 734, descent initially flight number 260. So I go here and select flight number 260. And immediately I select that the alert has gone to say descent and it's gone away from the scratch pad as well. And we're about six miles away from our descent point. So we've set 26,000 feet, that's what we've been cleared to go to initially by ATC. Approaching the descent point, let's see what happens. There, yeah, it shows it as TD, top of descent. One day it's 2.6 miles away, 2.2 miles now, top of descent. ATC have given us flight level 260 to descend to. Um, 37,000 feet. See that? Now says idle. 
it means it's bringing the thrust back to idle here. Yeah? The thrust lever, if you look at it, it's automatically being pulled back by the auto throttle system because we've already told it we have to descend now to 26,000 feet. So you can see that it's all coming back to idle. So in the passenger cabin, you can see the airplane start to go down. There it is, it's descending now. We're descending at 2,000 feet per minute. Hold. Looking out there, the airplane's now pointing downward because we're now descending. Okay, so that's how the airplane descends. And that's the route we're going to fly. That way, that way, and Singapore is over there somewhere. So that is how we set up a descent. Later.